Greetings everyone, this is Seth, the owner of Zero's Channel, and today we're doing Need for Speed 2, the sequel to the original Need for Speed, and this one's actually a lot better in my opinion, but not by much. <laughs> and uh, I have Josh with me once again. Hey, how you doing guys? And Abigail. Hi! <laughs> and we're doing Need for Speed 2. Um, uh, like I said, once, once again it's going to be me versus Josh because Abigail apparently isn't that good at video games. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is true. But that's okay, that's okay, at least you tried. <laughs> Okay, so let me go to two, split screen, split screen race, single race, arcade. I don't know what catch up is, but I think that gives you a certain amount of time before you can get the your partner can catch up and then it counts and ends the game. I don't, th I don't think so. Are you sure? Oh no, I don't know. but I'll, I'll turn it off just to, just to be sh yeah, just to be safe. Sure. Um, we're gonna do uh, two races, just like Need for Speed One. Um, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it has a completely different um, selection of cars. Got a Lotus, got a, a, a Mini, what, I don't know what that was, that was a, I think that was a, a Celine, what was that? I, is there, is there a 112 I, I don't know what this car is either. It looks like a Bug, uh, Bugatti, but it's a little different. Here's an Itel Design, or Alfa Romeo, Kella. Because I think Al Itel Design is nowadays known as Alfa Romeo, but I'm not it entirely is. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Uh, for this race, I'm going to choose the McLaren F1, for reasons you'll see when the race begins. <laughs> yeah, those are nice cars. Okay, I want to... let me make sure it's red, like Rose is. <laughs> okay, uh, press X, please. No. I'll click my car. Let's see real quick. Oh, apparently you're player one. Oh, and, and that's okay, you can be player one if you want. <laughs> oh, I'm player one? Alright. Oh, so I'm on a top screen? Appar uh, yeah, so you're going to be on the top screen and I'm going to be on the bottom screen. So which car do you want? I'm um, looking at the Lotus, but are we doing like a turning race or are we doing a straightaway? It, it's it's going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be mostly um, speed-based, um, like the first race will be. The yeah. second race will definitely have more turns, but this one's mostly going to be focused on speed, so you want a okay. very fast car. Uh, I chose the McLaren F1 for a very, very good reason. Yeah, they're fast cars. I'm just thinking, I don't know, that looks fast. I don't, it doesn't have any type of telling you what it is about, so I'm going to trust your your opinion. I'm going to go with the McLaren, too. Okay, smart. What color do you want it? I'm going to do white. White? That's a good choice. What? There you go. Right there we there. go. Okay, so, so, we're, so we're good. Whoops. Um, you guys mm -hmm. are doing them? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which, um... Who's player one or who's player two now? Um, <laughs> now we're getting off. Oh man, I'm getting confused. Uh, you're player two, so you're red. He's player one, so he's white. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, why don't I have um? Why don't I have both um the McLarens be white? <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm sorry if I get these con this confused, but we'll know when the race begins. We're gonna race at Proving Grounds, which is the first course in the game. Okay. <clears throat> This is the same thing, same uh, controls. Yeah, but unlike um, Need for Speed One, um, you don't have to shift um, into in drive. Gear. You don't have to put it in gear; it'll do, do it automatically. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be a circle. Yeah, I think this game does support analog control, but I kind of forgot to enable it. Uh, so we'll just use um, the D-pad um, for this first race, and I'll enable analog control for the second race. All right, sounds good. Three, two, one, go! Go! Oh, yeah, I am on the top screen. You're on the bottom screen. Yeah. <clears throat> now, guys, this this game actually... Oh, press the triangle button if you want to... Oh, do you want that for you? Or do you... Yeah, that's all right. I okay. This one's getting better. Anyway, if, this is why I chose the McLaren F1 for this race, people. If you don't choose the McLaren... Because if you don't choose the McLaren F1 for this track, then you pretty much are not going to get first place. Because there were several times where I would choose the Ferrari F50, and I would never catch up to the other cars. Because of how speed focused this track is, <clears throat> like you'll almost never catch up um, to the other racers who are most likely in McLaren. So, and whoop, that Ferrari just spun out. <laughs> the crash physics are pretty sensitive in this game. Probably just as sensitive as Need for Speed Underground's, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to talk in this game. I'm so focused. <laughs> and that's okay. At least, at least you're still here. Abigail, you can say something too if you want. I'm <laughs> focused too. I'm like, ooh. You're just so amazed by these beautiful yes. cars. These beautiful graphics. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the play. You actually think the PlayStation 1's graphics are attractive? 
I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't t- I don't use sarcasm very well. So I, <laughs> it's cool. I use it all day. So it's, yeah, that. Is, and I'm in I'm in first place, and you're in third place. We're definitely doing better <laughs> better than the first Need for Speed game. Most definitely. I think I just need a little practice. I'm about to be in second too. I'm gonna catch up with you. Anyway, what I was trying to say earlier is um. This game actually does have music, as you might have heard during the main menu. No, 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 but no, no. For some stupid reason, the music does not play during multiplayer, and that's a real shame because this game has a very badass soundtrack, much like Need for Speed Three does and Need for Speed One does. But like Need for Speed One's music would still play during split screen, but for Need for Speed Two and Three, it doesn't play. Music is always a motivator for me. Yeah, because. The Need for Speed series is also what got me into techno music. Oh, really? Yeah. It's what got me into techno. It's why I love techno so much. Which is why I love the song Aquila 303 by Rob DePrisco. But that song's in Need for Speed 3, which is the third game. And this is the second one. I think Rob DePrisco did write a song for Need for Speed 2. But uh, that song is only in the PC version, which is Romulus 3, or however the heck you pronounce it. I wonder what this, oh yeah, it's a four lap race. I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot it's a four lap race. I forgot to set it back to two. I'll change it to two for. for. Yeah, record. Sorry. No, I, I, I just I was wondering if it's in uh, miles per hour uh, kilometers. So that's a I think it's in. I think it, pretty sure it's in miles per hour. I mean, the McLaren F1 is one of the fastest cars ever built, so I'm not surprised that it's able to hit 200 miles per hour. Well, I mean, like, there's a, there's a couple other cars that can beat that, but... I, mean, I know, but, because it's one, it's there's really the Bugatti Veyron, I know it's that's one, one of them. One of the one of the faster cars. No. There's also a newer car that I'm aware of, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, I, I, re- I remember my brother talking about it when I was playing Forza, but, I'm, again, I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> it definitely wasn't Miata. <laughs> nope. The Miata's not even in the Need for Speed series, no, I don't think. It's not. They didn't put it. They didn't release it, uh, the Miata until the newer one that just came out uh, in 2015. Yep, and I got first place, and I'm gonna get third. Oh, or am I? Oh, 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 oh. wait, oh, no, 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 I don't no. know how to put it in reverse either. No, oh, uh, gosh, I don't know how to put it in reverse. Uh, try using try shifting it. Oh, did that work? Yeah, but it won't. It, no, now it's going back. back. Try like, shifting up. Shift up. I'm shift just, up. I'm just gonna go backwards all the way there. How do I? How do I? It's not going anywhere. Try the, up. You're moving forward again. I don't know up. which way the, the track is now. T- turn around. <laughs> don't get last, please. I, I've been trying not to. You're in neutral now. Right, now I'm you're neutral. in. Now in your first gear. All right, first gear. Yep, first gear. All right, first gear. Which way's the turn track? Turn around. I'm, I'm so gonna be good last place now. No, don't get. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no! I'm in 7th no. place? Oh, you got it in reverse. Right. You're in <laughs> reverse on. now. I gotta get him, get him first. Now there you're in know. first gear. Now I'm going Come for on. it. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Yes, you didn't place yeah. last. <laughs> oh. What did I place in? I wonder. You seventh? got 7th. Yeah. I was in 3rd for a long time. I, I know, up. but then yeah, you messed up. Like I said, the crash physics are pretty chaotic in this game. You know, but you think about it. If you've crashed at 232 miles an hour, you are pretty dead. <laughs> And, that, and that's kind of weird right there. It shows the Ferrari F50 reflected in the trophy, but I was using the McLaren F1. Or we were using the McLaren F1. Okay, let's settle it with one last race, but this time with a bit more curves. I definitely want to change my car to a Lotus Elise. I'm going to change mine to the Ferrari F50, because that's my favorite car of all time. Again, you can think outrun for my love of Ferrari. <laughs> Enzo Ferrari, Ferrari F50, the F40, the 458 Italia, even. Okay, we're going to race on the Outback, but this time two laps, not four. <laughs> okay, player one gets to I'm going to choose the Ferrari F50. <clears throat> the F50, how do I... Okay, now you can select uh, your... Lotus. Just press the triangle button if when you want that car. What color do you want the Lotus G1, GT1? They have a black. No, have I don't one. think black's available. You might. I think your best ne- next bet is white or gray. I'm going to do red. What? Every time I select A, you change the dominant for sure. There you go. Okay. Just press the triangle button. Okay. So are you, are you okay, ready? I'm ready to go. Ready to kick ass. Vroom. Uh, that's another thing I've always loved about Need for Speed 2 and 3. As soon as you start the race, you hear an engine rev. 
I guess, like, it always got me excited as soon as I heard it. It, it revs the engine, goes into silence to the loading screen, and as soon as the, you see the car, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. Like, oh, man, good times, good times. <clears throat> and, and, guys, and ladies and gentlemen, if you think I'm nostalgic here, wait till we get to Need for Speed 3. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. And again, you can change it to a... There you go. And oh crap, I forgot to enable analog control. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's okay. I can use, um, uh, if you want to use the handbrake, uh, you can press the circle button. That's another thing I probably should have told oh, you. Can you actually drift in this? Yeah. But oh, my the drifting is not the best in this game, though. Uh, I guarantee it. It's just like the, <clears throat> the one that just came out in 2015. You did that. Uh, yeah, because the drifting in the. You can't control it. Yeah, the drift, the drifting in the newer Need for Speed game is just it's beautiful. Cheating. But it's cheating, dude. It's not, you know. It's How not is it like, cheating? All right, it's it's more handled. It's like more handled, like by the computer, like you know. It's not really the actual person driving, making the controls. Oh, uh, are you referring to like the AI? The yeah, CD? basically. Uh, it's basically like. A, you're referring to the fact that it has um rubber banding or whatever. Yeah, it's, called. it's basically handicapping. <laughs> yeah, I think Need for Speed: The Run did that as well, especially with the cops. Yeah. That's why I said like Midnight Clubs, and then uh, there's you know Gran Turismo or Forza. Forza, Forza really more because Gran Turismo yeah. is more of a track based kind of game. Yeah, so. I prefer, yeah I prefer Forza over Gran Turismo because I just like the way the cars drive more, and plus it's much easier to drift in Forza than oh, it yeah. is Gran Turismo. Oh yes, very much so. Okay. <clears throat> plus plus top, plus it has the Top Gear stuff, you know, because because you know Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond appear in Forza Five, but in Forza Four we only have Jeremy Clarkson. And, and we also have um, the Top Gear test track in track, both yeah, games. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That, that was one of my favorite courses. I love that track, the figure eight. Yeah. That's a great track. Unfortunately, we're never going to see Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, or James May ever again because... I don't know. I, it, got, it got shut down, but I saw some rumors. Well, well, the reason why is because Jeremy Clarkson actually punched um, one of the producers in the face or something like that. <laughs> I can believe that. So... No, there's a split in the road. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh. Yeah, stop that, laughing. That Sorry. I did not know there was a split. No, there's another split. Oh my goodness. Look at that one too. There's also a split in Need for Speed 3, but that one is much more forgiving because it doesn't, like, block your path. In fact, you can actually go straight to the other path. Oh! I'm, I am doing terrible again. I swear I can get first place in this, but maybe it's... I don't know if it's because we're doing two laps or not, but... Yeah. This is a lot harder to see farther out, like yeah. you know, Grand Turismo. But that's because it's a PS1 game. Again, the PC version clearly has better graphics, but I don't have a PC anymore. And plus, yeah. You prefer Apple or PC? Well, obviously PC because oh, um, a larger game. Are better. No, not not because of the graphics, Varieties. but because of a larger game library. Yeah, yeah. It's a variety. Um, I mean, like. I did used to have a PC, but then my dad decided to get me a Mac instead of a PC because um viruses or something like that. Yeah, Apples are a little bit harder to get because they're different platforms. Viruses they suffer. Yeah. I've heard PCs are better for gaming. It, yes, that is true. So. That is very true because it's thanks to that that was because there's actually this place that I would go to in uh, Georgia in which um I can play a few PCs and that's how I was able to experience Star Wars: The Old Republic for the very first time. <clears throat> As well as Ruby Grim Eclipse, the video game based on that animated web series I told you about. I'm not gonna lie, I love Lego Star Wars. I yes, I I do like Lego. Lego Star Wars is actually what got me into Star Wars in general. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so as soon as I started playing Lego Star Wars two, I went back to watch the no. movies, and I did the same with the prequels. And mm -hmm. sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if we got off topic, but. <laughs> Can you blame us? We, we're trying to find something to talk about while Josh is trying to finish. I'm trying to catch up, yeah. Yeah, guys, come on. I'm the Miata driver, so I'm pretty slow. But, 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 you, but you guys still can't call him out because he did win in Need for Speed 1. <laughs> and, then, uh, and, 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 and that game... So, which, so, 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 yeah, that was Need for Speed 2. So, which do you prefer more, Need for Speed 2 or I think uh, Need for Speed I like the, the 2 because there's more variety of, uh, uh, the gra well, the graphics were better and there's more variety of cars, I feel like, that were, you know, in different styles. 
definitely yeah. different. So I mean, yeah, and plus I find the cars much easier to control. They have oh, yeah. more grip. They turn a lot better too. Yeah, the only thing I think, uh, the crash physics are, I don't, I don't know if it's just as forgiving as Need for Speed ones, but yeah, and and again, you hear that music. So, mm. like, like every time I hear this music, I'm just imagine myself in like this ginormous futuristic showroom of cars because that's what I would always think with the menu music of Need for Speed 3 as well but I digress but yeah that was Need for Speed 2 once again Josh thank you for for, for joining me for this my pleasure and thanks again Abigail for being here you're very welcome maybe one day you can hit me up and we'll do Gran Turismo or something yeah because because uh, yeah if you if, if you can uh, uh, show up again yeah we could probably do Gran Turismo for a Speedway Saturday I mean you're again you're one of the few people I know who likes these Legit racing games, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to give me a, a an actual what's it called a, a simulator, a simulator stealing one or anything. Get a nice setup, but I never did. Yeah, but yeah, guys. Thank you. With that said, that was Need for Speed Two. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic night and take care. <laughs>